Over the course of the last year, people got together, talked to the parents whose kids have been shot, and asked them, what kind of music did your child like? What would you, if there were a song that, you know, that would be good to, for you to remember them by, what music would that be? And this process began with, you know, some composers and some rangers and, right. and, and, and civic musicians, CSO, Chicago Symphony musicians, hmm. all participated. I walked into this church about hmm. a month and a half hmm. ago, and there was, like, maybe there were about 10 musicians, a couple singers, six or seven parents, each holding a portrait of their child and seeing one another, possibly for the first time, saying, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, you went through the same, the most horrible thing that could happen to a parent mm -hmm. as I did, and they started talking. Meanwhile, the music was playing, the singers were singing, mm -hmm. and one of the parents would be sitting in that circle, and believe me, you know, there were puddles on the floor. Mm -hmm. Joy and grief are not too far right. apart. And, and it's like, sometimes it's just like one tiny, you know, quarter turn <laughs> right. and you see the other, yeah, and, the other. but what, what someone told me is that through working through these pieces of music, joy has emerged mm -hmm. and that's Absolutely. an unexpected thing.